Walter Duenas is a retired Army veteran whose son is currently in need of emergency surgery for his distended or bloated stomach. Duenas says the Naval Hospital has refused to medevac his son to Hawaii because of some new policy. Here's more. We can't wait. His belly will pop. He's in so much pain right now that... Um, you know, he's been moaning and, and screaming all night. They had to give him some pain uh, medicine just to calm him down. Robert Duenas' father, Walter Duenas, is afraid his son could die from his severely distended stomach, a problem that he is prone to due to some conditions he was born with. Wednesday, the, uh, February 14, we, he came home from school because his girth was not normal. It was 69 centimeters. So I took him to the emergency room and... Uh, they measured him, they said, okay, we're going to keep him overnight, try to get his belly down and see what we could do. Robert's condition was worsening and his pain increasing. So Duenia says he asked Naval Hospital officials to have him medevaced to the Tripler Army Hospital in Hawaii that has specialists who were familiar with both Robert and his condition. Robert has been medevaced to Tripler in the past for the same condition. Now his belly has been getting bigger and bigger every day. I keep reminding them we need a medevac, and then they found out today that they couldn't medevac him because they cannot classify him as an emergency uh, evac patient. Duenas says he was told that his son didn't qualify for the immediate medevac to Hawaii due to some new policy that he's not very familiar with. Because of the changes that the Air Force has done well, on their TMPC standards, Robert is no longer classified as an emergency patient that needs to be medevac to Hawaii. So now, instead of moving Robert to Hawaii in desperate need to get surgery done because of his distension of his belly is at critical right now at 75 centimeters, they want us to go en route to Okinawa as a regular medevac patient, fly to Okinawa, stay there until Friday, and then fly to Hawaii. Now, come on guys, we already know Robert's at critical, so why do we have to wait that long and why? Can't you put in orders for him to be an emergency evac patient so we could get him to the specialist in Hawaii where they could do the surgery? Instead, they told him they could send Robert to the Guam Regional Medical City, where they found a doctor who was able and willing to do the surgery to lower the swelling in Robert's belly. If this doctor didn't agree to it, then they would have never found one, and then what? Although Duenas is happy that there is a doctor here on Guam who is willing to do the surgery, he is a bit concerned because the doctor is not a specialist. The specialists are in Hawaii, and Duenas, who was a retired Army veteran, doesn't understand why the medevac to Hawaii was denied. We defended this country, you know, we went over there and uh, fought like everybody else, and those benefits are there for us, so why are you arguing with us? Why don't you just let us use those benefits and get our family treated? Before you make the regulations, you should have, uh, think of the, the family members of uh, active duty and retired personnel as well, not just active duty personnel. They're forgetting about us, and they're not treating us like uh, we should be treated as veterans and retirees. Naval Hospital Public Affairs Officer Jacine Mantanani says that Robert was treated at the Naval Hospital and his condition improved at first. However, it began to deteriorate and since the Naval Hospital does not have a pediatric surgeon, they reached out to their TRICARE partner, GRMC, who had a pediatric surgeon capable of operating on Robert. Mantanani says Robert's father was consulted throughout the entire transfer process and agreed to it. Matanani says she did not have information on the new policy that Duenas says prevented the medevac.